Hey everyone, it's So from the Knowles family here. So I thought today I would show you what I've done today as I did something really, really, nothing like me, but I knew I wanted to do it. So today I shaved my head because my hair was coming out in clumps and it has been for at least since I was 15, 16. So I decided to do something about it and just shave it off. Obviously, I will be growing it long again. I will not be keep on shaving it. I'm just trying to get it healthier, more stronger, and back to my natural hair colour because I have dyed it quite a few times over the years. And I think that is what did it mainly to make it really, really damaged. So I decided to shave it all off and basically start all over again from scratch. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Knowles family. As you can see, there is something very different about me today. I don't know why I'm so nervous, but I shaved my head and I am really happy I did this because it needed doing for my hair to get healthier, stronger, and just because my hair kept falling out in either just one strands of hair but it would do it every couple of hours or it would come in clumps and I tell you I could not want I did not want to hoover my hair every single day and it would get stuck in the hoover and stuff so I decided to shave it off and regrow it again and see if that makes it any better obviously I know it would definitely make it healthier and stronger. I can't stop feeling it though, because it is really weird at the minute, obviously. Um, it does feel really, really nice. It does feel nice to touch, if I'm honest. It's actually quite satisfying. Um, I will say I had a shower yes, like last night, and I was blown away with how quick it took to dry. Like, I just rubbed my head with a towel like three to five times and it was dry I was so happy about it that <laughs> I don't know because normally it would take me quite a long time because usually I'd put it in like one of them towel wrap things because I don't normally like to use heat on my hair so now I didn't even have to use a hair towel I just rubbed it quite a couple times and it was dry i am so so happy about it about how it took to dry the only thing that i am a little bit weird about is because i've got a weird little like dent in my head which i don't know why or where that came from i just felt a dent in my head when i was 18 years old which is a bit weird one day and i just woke up and i went oh i've got a little bit of a dip here and it's been there ever since I mean you can't really tell I've got one because obviously I've got hair covering it but yeah this is the finished result I did leave these bits around here a little bit longer because I think Craig said he preferred it like that anyway because he actually went over it again for me this morning because obviously because I was doing it myself it wasn't really that even so I got him to just you know do what he could to blend it in a little bit and I think he did a really good job. I really do like it. I mean, I don't have a fringe or anything. At least it will be easy for like the, the next couple of months or maybe a year to do my makeup without pulling my hair back. It's going to be quite easy for me to do my makeup. I do have a mole here. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to try and zoom in. It's right here. I've had this mole ever since I was younger. I don't know what it is. I mean, I think I was born with it, actually. So it might be my birthmark. But I'm not too sure. But I've, but I've had, like, three to six birthmarks, I think. I've got one here. I did used to have one on my breast. But obviously, I had a breast reduction. And when I did have that, I asked the surgeon if he could remove it at the same time. Like, you know, because obviously he had to move the areola and the nipple a little bit. So I asked him if he could just move that as well and he did and that's gone because that was really the thing that I really didn't like 
that's the only birthmark that I was worried about because it was big and it was and because obviously in the summer when you're on beaches and stuff you wear bikinis and stuff it would show and obviously if you have the sun touch a mole it could come cancerous so I had to keep from wearing glasses and stuff on there when I was like in the sea and stuff and they wouldn't stay anyway so I just asked him to remove it well you know and he did that and I was really, really happy about that that I no longer have that mole there anymore I mean obviously I'll always have that as a memory but I'm glad that's gone I do have a few others but nothing special I did have one on my hand too it's right here but it's a very faint one it's a bit like a freckle um, I mean I do have freckles anyway I first noticed I had freckles though last year even though I've probably had them all my life but I noticed them a lot when it was the summertime they were like really like a light brown type freckles all over my forehead I had them all I don't know if I have them now I think they've gone for now but I think they mostly come out more for me in the summertime I don't know why I randomly talked about hair and I'll talk about freckles but I did want to give you a little bit of a chatty update today um I do have my husband's reaction to my shaved head um at the end so make sure you go and check it out it is quite funny and I, I actually am really happy with his reaction his reaction wasn't you know mean he wasn't angry or anything i mean he was in a bit of shock and last night he couldn't stop laughing at me but other than that it's fine and um, you know he obviously he still loves me and everything like that i mean who wouldn't it's it's only hair it grows back and yeah i mean i've wanted to do this for a very long time and I was like, you know what, like last night I was just, I wasn't even thinking about my hair at the time. So I just went, you know what, I'm going to shave my head. So I came upstairs, I got my clip, well, I got the clippers that I usually use on Craig. And I did it. Like, obviously I did all the chopping, but what I regret most is not filming it for you guys. Because I knew that would have been some really good content for YouTube. But I forgot, because I left my phone downstairs at the time, but... You know, I am glad that I got to film this part for you and film Craig's reaction because you don't normally see Craig on my channel that much because he is quite camera shy. But this time I did manage to get a little bit of a clip for you guys so you know what my husband's like and stuff. Um, but yeah, I just can't stop touching my hair. My hair is something that has always been important to me ever since I was younger I mean I did used to either go short or long short or long short or long the longest I've had it is here where it was yesterday before I shaved it that was like the longest it's ever been when I was a kid it would only go to my shoulders because I wouldn't grow it any more than that and then I'd go to a bob then I'd go back to here then it'll be a bob then it'll be back to here and then when I was 16 I decided to go even shorter and you'll probably see my first ever videos on YouTube with that hairstyle. It was pretty much, it was like, like short on this side and then shaved on this side. And um, that lasted for about until I was 20. And then I decided to do the hairstyle again. And I shaved it again on the same side which is this side and i kept this bit you know a bit longer and then that's when i grew my hair all the way down to here and then last night this happened i do also want to say i don't have alopecia or anything like that because i do get um I, I was told to go and see a doctor to see if it was alopecia or stuff like that and it wasn't I think it was just a thing that happened really and because of all the chemicals I used in my hair like all the hair dyes I've used like I've dyed my hair since I was like 10 11 so you could imagine how damaged my hair was it was quite brittle it was breaking quite easily and it was 
just doing nothing for me so i just went you know i'm gonna do it i'm gonna get my hair healthier and all of that so i did it and i'm actually really really happy with it um obviously i haven't been out in public yet with this hairstyle um i mean i've shared it on tiktok and instagram and my facebook but i haven't been in public yet i might have to go in public this week to go and fetch my glasses from the opticians because that'll be my first task i am going to see what i look like with makeup on and shaved hair um maybe today or tomorrow and if i do do it today i'll film it and put it in this video but if i don't then i'll do it as a separate video for you guys um but yeah i mean everything else though in general is absolutely fine and i am just beyond happy like yesterday i did send a picture of my shaved head to a few people the first person I sent it to was my sister-in-law, Anna, and she, like, you know, obviously she was so, so supportive of me, and she, she even said it suited me anyway. She said, any hairstyle suits me, which is a little bit strange because I thought no hairstyle suited me. But, yeah, I mean, it is a big, big change and a big big step for me and i am happy that i finally did it because you know it's making me stronger and making me more you know happy with myself it is quite a big change for me but i am happy i made the change not everybody has probably seen it yet um there are a lot of people out there that haven't seen it but you know i am very very happy with it and i am ecstatic um i mean at first when i did look in the mirror after shaving it all off i was in shock too but i was pretty pleased with it it was something that i wanted to do for at least three to four years that's actually when I started going out with Craig, so it's, as you can imagine, it's been quite a long time. Then again, I think me and Craig have been together for four years. Maybe five. I have no idea, I can't remember anymore. Um, but, yeah. It, it has been quite surreal because I didn't think I was going to like it, but I surprisingly like it it's weird i didn't think i was gonna like it at all but i actually quite like it obviously i am gonna have to be careful in the summer because i might burn my head but other than that it is it is a big step for me but i am glad that i took that big step so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video Make sure if you haven't already to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't. Make sure you go and follow me on Instagram and TikTok and make sure you go and follow my sister-in-law on TikTok as well as she, like let's get her to 11,000 followers because she's already on 10k which I cannot believe. She's actually really amazing at doing TikToks, not gonna lie, she's more amazing than me anyway. I've only got 600 and something and she's definitely got more than me so make sure you go and subscribe to her not subscribe follow her i'll leave her tiktok around here somewhere too so make sure you go and follow her and i will see you soon so you know that i've had really bad hair right that's been really damaged and it's really brittle and and i just couldn't handle it anymore Telling me you shaved your hair off. <laughs> what the hell? I do need you to go over it again, though. What have you done? <laughs>
Oh my, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least it feels healthy already. I knew you moaned about it, but I didn't think you'd actually do it. Yeah. I mean, at least it'll grow back stronger now. And it probably won't fall out as much. Because I just did the hoovering in there earlier and it was a bit, you know, too much. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I've seen you with shitty hair that short before. <laughs> See, when you first met me, I had half shaved head, kind of. Definitely not that short before. Well, That's yeah. how long my hair was when I first met you. Well, it's weird because this is actually number three. It's the same as yours. Three? This is a one. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go one, you'd look weird. Yeah, I do need you to go over it again though. <laughs> so I have all thoughts about it. <laughs> Instead of laughing. I'm not used to it. But you will get used to it though. Probably. Plus, plus it being this short, it will grow probably faster now it's been shaved off. Anything else to say before you go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing at all? Where's the dog? Stan, what do you think? He hasn't actually seen it yet, I've been wearing <laughs> Stan, what do you think? Am I still your mum? You still recognise her? You're mad. I'm not mad.